Kefla, she has loops. Let's break them down. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Dr. Blue, and on this channel, we break down loops in a bit of untraditional fashion. You see, for four years, I was a percussion instructor, and I still enjoy drums on the daily basis. So when it comes to learning my favorite fighting game characters, I like to take very complicated combos and break them down using rhythmic theory. No tricky timing, just music and your favorite characters in the most optimal way possible. So when it comes to Kefla, she is incredibly unique. In fact, she has movesets and part of her toolbox which allows her to do a loop and for those of you that do not know a loop in a fighting game is when you can have a series of repeated actions the same inputs and <laughs> going back to back to back to back some of the more famous loops in this game are base vegeta blue goku hell even even majin buu has loops and we've broken them down on this channel before they're linked down in the description below but as for kefla very particular case for her she has sparking loops meaning you have to be in sparking as in you only get one chance per match to pull this off. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and check out these loops. As for me personally, I love this character. She's only been out for a week and we're seeing a whole bunch of stuff like come together with Touch of Death Sin and really great synergy with the majority of the cast. In fact, pros like Goichi and Finrich, they are all posting Twitter regs on the regular about how this character can get some incredible stuff done in match. In fact, the TODs that are being posted, this loop is a pretty vital part of, so I want to get this to you so you can start maximizing your potential with this character. Essentially what's going on here is while in sparking, Kefla, luckily for us, the, her medium, her air medium actually hits twice in combo, which is super sick. You press one button, it hits twice. Really convenient. And it actually brings them down to the ground in time for her standing H her normal heavy, to hit at an upward angle, making this loop possible. As far as difficulty goes, this loop isn't too difficult, in fact it's one of the more convenient ones in the game. It's literally a series of two to three inputs? Word of warning, you will need to do instant air dash. As for me, I do the tricky method I guess, where you hold forward and the R2 button at the same time. In the notation you're going to see, it says heavy and, it says heavy and special. All that is is a shortcut for R2. You can do it however you want. You can do a double click forward for the instant air dash, whatever you want to do. However, make sure the timing is correct because it makes this loop possible. So let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to break this down. I have this spreadsheet in front of me. Essentially, all this is is a measure of 4-4 four, four with an extra bonus added on at the end as a tack on, an extra one eanda. For those of you that don't know what the hell that means, no worries, let's break it down. 4-4 four, four is when you count to 4. Can you do that? Congratulations, you're a musician. <laughs> check, check out the PDF on screen right now. You'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, and in between all of it, you will also see E and an A. Uh. These are called subdivisions. We take these numbers and we break them down into smaller parts. Really easy, really convenient. Don't get lost in the memo. If you need help, leave me a comment down below. I've got you. So take the numbers one, two, three, four. Break the number one into four parts. What do you get? You get one E and a. Uh. Really easy. Then play on through. One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh. All we've done, my dudes, is put the rhythmic notation on top of the combo inputs. Really cool really fun and a great way to do it because between you and i dragon ball fighters doesn't have a slow down function making its more complicated features a bit intimidating but what we're going to do is break this combo down at 25 percent of the tempo 50 percent of the tempo and then 100 percent of the tempo meaning you can go back and rewind and practice this as slow as you want until you get it at full speed but let's go ahead and break down the actual combo starting here on the one, you have a heavy. There's plenty of ways to do this combo, but I wanted you to start off while you're in sparking so you can get the rhythm down before you go create your own touch of death combos. So you're already in sparking, you hit heavy on the one. 
you continue on, nothing on the E, nothing on the AND, but when you get to the UH of one, you're gonna wanna up, cancel, and instant air dash. One, E, and a uh, two, E. That's the rhythm you're gonna hear repeating over and over again. So clap along with me if you don't mind. One, E, and a uh, two, E. That's the rhythm. Have E, and a uh, dash, M. And that's it. Literally let that medium play out and you're good to go because as soon as you hit the ground, you have enough time to hit that standing heavy and just repeat. So moving on through, starting from the three of the same measure, on the three, nothing. But the E is when the heavy connects again. Moving on through to four, you do the same instant air dash jump cancel into medium. And then at the end of this measure, you play on through, and then you have another heavy on the one. The cool thing about Kefla's loops is she can do a maximum of three loops and it still be considered optimal. But while she's in sparking, if you end this with a traditional combo ender like a BMB in the air, you're gonna build three bars and do hell a lot of damage. Hell a lot of damage. So with some season three shenanigans, we're even gonna talk about how to do our very own touch of death. And it's pretty universal with a lot of assist in the cast. As for now, I hope I've broken it down for you. If you need help, seriously, let me know in the comments below. The community here is fantastic. We've got you. Loops are not easy, but it takes practice. So let's break into it. I'm going to start you off at 25% of the tempo. You're not going to be able to play along to your game. Just grab your controller, click along, build it up. And then when you feel comfortable, move on through to 50%, 100%, and I'll see you on the other side. So you've made it. Hopefully this is making a lot of sense to you and you're building muscle memory while you do. Let's talk a bit about muscle memory because if you practice the wrong thing, you're not only screwing yourself over, you're literally teaching your muscles to be <laughs> to do the wrong thing. It's really going to hurt you in the long run because not only will you have to relearn how to do it, but you're actually going to have to erase everything and practice twice as long just to get rid of bad habits and tendencies you built up along the way. So seriously, don't rush this. Take your time. Go back through if you need it. But now that you've done it and you can see it works on GT Goku, let's talk about some of the stuff you can do with the rest of the cast. I personally play Majin Buu, Base Goku, and Kefla at the start of Season 3 at the time of this video at least. And with this, you can do a pretty sick touch of death combo, dudes. Here's what it looks like with just a traditional uh, medium auto combo starter and in into sparking. Check it out. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please go be creative with Kefla on your own. Enjoy, spread around, and love the loops as much as I do. For now, I've been the Dr. Blue. Please feel free to request any character down below. I love doing videos like these. It really gives us a chance to communicate and connect as a community. So you're incredible. Like, share, and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next video.